Alex, at the end of its run. At the end, this is not the edge clean, but just at the end. At the end, when it finishes cleaning all three rooms, so then it will do edge clean, where it cleans all edges and corners, and uh, legs of your tables and all, and chairs. So here it's coming out. And since it knows where it has cleaned and not cleaned it, navigates very nicely. Like I never feel that it's random. Here is going in, and as you can see, there's a handle here. So if you want to pick it up, you can pick it up very easily. You don't have to hold it from the sides. As you can see, there's a handle here. So this is not very noisy, like the other version 600 and all. So as you can see, it's not too good at picking up uh, all uh, wall pieces, but not many of them are there, so it's pretty good. See, and it goes under all cupboards and everything. And it's a pretty good vacuum for the robot. <laughs> see, like it can't pick up all these things. This is a stain. This is really hard. Here's the Rupa going on its way. And you may be thinking that it has left all this, but it's actually stains. It goes everywhere, wherever you can't even reach. I don't want to follow this Rupa sometimes because it's just so much fun looking at it. Sometimes I just follow it the whole time, but sometimes I just do my own work while it does it. And you can schedule in the app whenever you want it to run. You can schedule and you can put time limits for it's clean also. Here I have not put any time limits. So it's cleaning how much ever time it needs. So it's pretty good. And uh, since it cleans so nicely, you can put the schedule to clean once in every two days. But I like to clean every day. So I use it to clean every day. And as you can see, it is not a silver color, but a little bit brownish. Go on under the bed, which I can't even bend so much. See, it's going under the, say, uh, under the cupboard. And it comes out also with no problem. And... Uh, when it does the edge clean also it will go under so there's no problem going under all furniture and clean like mostly everywhere and it's like only point 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 hundred thousand point one of the doors is left which is really good performance It is like a very good product, even though it sometimes is a bit costly. The latest version of this is about a lakh. It's V shaped and it has different type of brush, wider rollers, and auto emptying bin. And now the auto emptying bin, which is I series, which is cheaper than the D shaped one, is uh, now 59,000. So now all of have uh, become a discount and the discount might go at any time. So we just bought it. And it's just too good for a robot. And it's too good for even a human. You can see the Roomba is following its pattern. And you don't get any remote with it. But you can control it directly on the Roomba or from the app. Out, but I never do that and I never try because I sometimes like to see the Roomba in action but I once slept off and I kept this running and it did a pretty good performance uh, the costlier version which have auto emptying bin you don't have to buy virtual walls you can make them on the app so like you can draw lines on the map and it's like become a virtual wall so as you can see, it's removing all 
and it uh, sometimes tries to remove light stains and it's better if there's lots of light it looks better and it works better if there's light So you can't do that, it will not work unless you want to lose all your maps and everything. So here it's trying to go under all the furniture. So it's just the correct size for my home. So since there's wall behind there, you can't go. So it always finds a way out. So it's trying to and it never goes in the same area again and again because it's not random navigation robot and it knows where it has gone and not gone As you can see there are lots of wall pieces so it uh, can't collect them so well so uh, that's why I don't recommend you using it if you just need to clean wall pieces because it doesn't clean it so well but it cleans it pretty well like no vacuum can uh, do that actually and it has a lot of suction power here is good as you can see there is a bit of dirt under this chair here is going 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 and eventually it comes And it picks up everything in its way. And down it has many sensors. It has cliff sensors, so it never falls downstairs. So if you have a house with many cliffs, this is really good. It has reached to the drawing room. And as you can see, it's cleaning really well. Floor is spotless, like except stain. And if you want your house to be clean without you doing any effort, this is the choice. Actually, I'm not advertising this, but it's just so good. It has gone back to its working room to start the edge cleaning. So now as you can see it's cleaning all edges. You can uh, connect this with Brava M series so that uh, as soon as it finishes vacuuming it will start the mopping. So here it never bangs against his base because there's a virtual wall around this base which it never goes here. So I'll just show you the edge clean in fast motion. final task and then I'll show you how it goes home and on the app it will come once it goes home and it finishes job it will come Roomba is completed its job and you can name it anything in the app Roomba or anything it's your choice so this is the final stage edge clean about 
about it anytime because you never have to control it sometimes i might get a bit confused but you'll get used to it because it cleans so well that you won't even mind it so this was part 2 of roomba the link is in the description for part 3 and part 1 also